We're here with the wonderful Liliana Maldonado, the director of Stroke. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Lili, let's get right into it. Okay. What was your inspiration behind this script? My inspiration behind the script was three things, which was the band daughter, my grandfather, and my father. Okay, so that's pretty personal. I mean, yeah. the connection you had with this film, did, did you get emotional at any time around this process? Um, in the writing process, it was an emotional time. Um, and then when we shot in production too, that was kind of emotional. Um, and But I also had fun. It was a way for me to um, work through whatever I was going at that time. So it was very therapeutic. Yeah. So, you know, the audience sees this film. You want them as a director to connect to it as much as you connect yeah. to the script. What did you do to make that happen? For me, it was all about making sure that I created a strong female character. Because most of the time when you see, like, female characters in um, movies, it's like they have to have a love interest and they have to be, you know, and it's like, ugh, I don't want to, no kissing. I just want it to be more about her story. And I thought that if I had a strong female character, everything else Everybody else would love everything else and fall into place. Calm into place. So yeah. tell me, um, what was the best part about directing? Okay. Um, the best part about directing was working with everyone. Like, you get to work with a producer for pre-production, which I love, uh, my producer. And, um, and then you get to work with a DP, which was like my friend Lisette, who you know, has amazing camera skills. So I, got, I was very fortunate to be working with her. And then I got to work with like my friend Regina, which was a colorist. And then um, an editor, which was Kevin Strickland. So working with them just was so much fun and getting to know every aspect of making a film was like really fun. Well, yeah. that was the crew. What about the cast? I know that you got a child actor um, in the film. What was, what was it like working with a child actor? It was really fun working with a child actor because it's like um, you learn a lot from them. You learn how much, how prepared they are. Um, on set, you know, she knew her lines and stuff like that. And like, even in the audition, it was just so much fun auditioning <laughs> like young actors and stuff and seeing that they don't even need the sides. They're like, they go in there and they're like, I got this. And yeah. you're just like, oh God, you're so little and you're. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, aside from this film, I know that you won the Audience Award at the NGF Film Fest yeah. last year. What kind of impact did that have on you? Um, it was a really nice feeling to just know that people connected with the movie. So when they said stroke, I was not expecting that. And then a lot of people told me that and made them cry, which is like my number one goal in life. So that was pretty nice. <laughs> well, from NGF to the Newport Beach Film Fest, I mean, it's, it's a pretty big deal. Is it a big deal to you? It is a big deal, only because I remember when I first started here and seeing all the lineups for OCC shorts, and I was just like, I don't think I could ever do that or compete with that, you know, with my short films. But um, you improve and you gain experience, and then you... You know, stroke happens, so that's kind of exciting. Yeah. So what's next for Lilia Maldonado? Do you have any projects in mind for the future? Yes, I have a few projects that I'm um, producing right now. One of them is actually The Confusion of Mr. Crenshaw, which is on GoFundMe. Okay. And we're gaining a lot of support from that. So. Awesome, Lily. Well, I'm excited for you, and I'm excited for your future endeavors. Best of luck. Thank you.